Well, hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And oh man, yeah, got the Weber out there, the Weber Platinum One Touch. It's a 2011 model. Folks, I really like this grill. Nice and high, and I, I think it looks cool. It's a unique grill in the fact that it's the only Weber they ever made that I know of that they put the vent right at the top of the grill. Now you look at the, all the other Webers, and you can see they're off to the side. That helps with indirect. So when it comes to indirect on this thing, it's uh, sometimes a little bit of a challenge. So today we're going to be using, we're going to be doing a brisket flat. And um, our setup is uh, we got our Sloan sear in there. We got one of these uh, tumbleweeds in there. Seem to work pretty good for starting. And then for our vent situation, Get out the drip and griddle there, and uh, you can see we just got it cracked on the bottom. So we're going to get that fired up, and I'll, I'll tell you what, uh, let's go take a look at how we prepped that brisket flat. All right, folks, there's our brisket. That we're just doing a brisket flat, a partial brisket flat. Here, it's a three-pounder. Uh, started last night about 12 hours ago. I, what I'm doing is I'm doing a, 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 just a salt brine, a dry salt brine. And uh, all I'm using is, uh, all I used was the kosher salt, coarse, kosher salt, say that three times fast. And folks, all, you put it on there real, real heavy, put it on elevated grate, put it in the fridge overnight. You can go 24 hours with this, it doesn't matter. And what this helps to do, you're saying, why, what, what does that do? That gets into the uh, meat itself and starts to break down that connective tissue. That connective tissue is what makes meat tough. So that's what this is doing. So we're done with it for now. We're going to wash it off with some cold water, then we're going to apply some of my favorite seasoning. Stay tuned. All right, folks, we're all washed off, ready to go on the grill. Uh, put a little bit of the Zang stir fry oil. I'm almost out of this stuff. I've got to find some more. And then uh, for I'm using the Cindy Lou's Black Label Rub. This stuff has got some brown sugar in it, and that'll brown this up real nice. So I'll tell you what, let's get this on the Weber, shall we? All right, folks, smoke a roll in there. Uh, about 7.30 in the morning. And uh, we, we're gonna use our thermal work smoke, to monitor, temp, monitor our temps. We're gonna take this up internal 165 and then we're gonna wrap it with some juice and uh, then take it up into the 205-ish range. Once again, a lot of people always ask me, hey, what temp, what temp? And on this stuff, it's no different than doing um, uh, doing a chuck roast or doing beef ribs is uh, I'll always do these to their toothpick tender. And uh, the good guide for that is about 205 is where they really start to get tender at. Let's take a quick look at our setup on the inside. It's probably going to be a little smoky. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of smoky. Let's clear there for a second. I, I've got uh, got my charcoal going there. I've got a couple chunks of cherry. You can see that in the back. Got my probe in there. Spray it with a little water. But remember, the water is good because it helps to attract smoke. It's a smoke to stick to the wet. So we're going to get this covered up. Got some water in the water trough. And... Um, you can see my top vent is just barely open. So we're going to, like I said, we're going to take this 165. We'll give you a couple look-sees. You stay tuned for all that. All right, folks, that was uh, right around three and three-quarter hours. You get this little uh, brisket flat up to you. You can see we're 166. Pull it at 165, close enough. And now we're going to uh, just put a little beef, beef broth in there. Use... This is warm. Uh, if you use this out of the fridge, take it out and get it room temp first. I mean, you can do it cold too, but defeating the purpose. So just a little beef broth on there. And then we're going to wrap this up real good. And it's going to go back on the grill. We're going to stick a probe in there as best we can. And like I said, 205-ish. And we'll do a little testing and we'll give you a look-see. Uh, stay tuned for the results. All right, folks, there's the finished product. In total, that was six hours. Um, two hours of that, uh, I got involved in some other, other stuff, and uh, this is actually not even har hardly warm. But uh, not the best that I've done. She does, she does break apart. But like I said, you got a little, little bit of effort there to break it apart. Like I said, not the best. Uh, nice smoke ring. Tell you what. Make for some damn good sandwiches. This thing shrunk up quite a bit. Like I said, it was three pounds. There was a there was a um, uh, some fat on there. I did trim off, but it couldn't have been more than a quarter pound. So, not the best, but not definitely not the worst. Folks, hope you enjoyed this. 
Tom Horseman at YouTube. Leave a comment, thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it.